Hi, Mom. Do you remember my friend Blake and Ann? Sure, I do. Yeah? So Blake is doing some research, and he's trying to understand how so many people from Jamaica and the Caribbean went to England to go to school. Can you tell me how you first heard about the chance to go to England? Yes, sure. The chance is that I had a, a summer job. You had a summer job? Summer job during the, the break, the March break. Well, that was not the March break. The, yeah. The summer break? The summer break. And I met a girl, a school girl. She was finishing high school. What was her name? Barbara. Barbara? Mm -hmm. Is that Barbara Dawes? No, not no. Dawes. Not, not this one. This one is a different. She's from Trinidad. She's from Trinidad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Bar oh, my, the friend that I'm talking about, no, she's from Kingston. From Kingston. From Jamaica. Does she live in Winnipeg now? Yes, she lives in Winnipeg. Okay. Quite a few years now, quite a few years. And while we were working, re doing the papers, of course, collecting all the newspapers to send out wherever to send them to, that's what the job was, she, we got talking. And she said to me, I'll be leaving for England. I was stunned. I said, England? She said, yes, I, I repeated it about three times. I said, well, how did you get there? And she told me that she applied, and applied to the hospital. Yeah. And if you have the qualifications for that high school, that, that really were taking you at the level of that. Yeah. And that's how she got in so happened that that young man who gave her the, all the information was a friend of my aunt, Pearl. Okay. And he, they, I guess they spoke about it. And he, she said, yes, well, why not apply? So you send off an application, you get accepted. That was great, the time for you to leave. They arranged that a, a, a car will pick us up at the, at the, in England, in the England, airport. At the airport? At the airport. How, and did, was this a program that was advertised in the newspapers in I, I don't know, it could have been, but I heard it through my friend. Right. Nothing I read in the paper or anything like that, but there were lots of nurses there. He was right. There were lots of nurses there were like, you know, beginners and Yeah. Because by the time I got there she had into she had told of two or three guy, girls about me coming up. I so mean, she was a little older. So she's she older than me. Yeah, she's older than me. So and <clears throat> do you remember what year you went to England? Jesus. It was it was right after high school. Right after high school? High school so it's about seventeen, eighteen, yeah. You were about seventeen, eighteen, 18 okay. Yeah. Okay. It was the best thing I've ever done. And you were born in 1938. 38. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah. Because now I'm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you were born, so you went about the end of high school. So you had graduated high school. High school. You had a little summer job. Yeah. That's and your friend told you about, about this, this opportunity. Tuesday. No, I think they have changed that for sure. You're you're applying by yourself, and if you get through, do you have the qualification? What they're asking for? Because now everything has changed quite a lot. And do you remember what hospital you went to in England? The Whitt oh, oh my, the Whittington Hospital. Whittington Hospital. hospital yeah. And what was city was that in? I, I must ask me. I think it was North. You know, in, in, in the, I was in the city. Not in the country part. You were in the city? city yeah. Do you know what city? London. In I London? Yes, that's London. Okay. Whittington Hospital. Whittington. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and were there, did you meet lots of people from Jamaica there? And, lots, and it's a mixed crowd, yes. Lots of people from Jamaica. A lot of them who, not everybody was a nurse, a lot of them were in the kitchen working or doing different, different things. But they were, quite a few of us there, quite a few people from England at that hospital. It's a big hospital, it's a Catholic hospital. It carried a 
would read my dictum. Right. And when you were studying nursing at the hospital, did you live in the hospital? Yes, I did. All the nurses, nurses lived did. there? The Most students? of them. If they're not close enough, you cannot take a bus or just going back and forth. It's cheaper to if you have one job. And did they pay for you to be there? Yes. We were in a little bit of pocket money you get, sure. Right. Did you have to pay to go to school there? No, I didn't pay. No, because they're teaching you something and you're getting something. I don't know now, maybe it's changed or maybe they're, because we had our own room too as well. So maybe, they, but they never ask us like how they arranged that, I don't know. Oh, I see. Yeah. And were there students from England in your? Oh yeah, there are people from England. A lot of them been to Paris and to get some education for whatever they were looking for. And they're there and they come back and do work. Back and right. Work. Yes. How many students do you think were there? A hundred or more. You mean from the West Indies, like from Jamaica? Sure. Yeah. It was a bigger hospital, it's hard to tell, but it would be because right there with my crowd was about five, six of us going out. Did you go with other friends? No, just this one girl that told me about it. She was right. already there. So once I got there, then, you know, I get to meet all the rest of the girls that she knows. Like Sheila? Sheila, a lot of them. Right. Yeah, she unfortunately is not so well right now, but yeah, she, and she was a live wire. Mercy me. What about Aunt May? Was Aunt May there? Aunt May was. That's where the hospital she trained at. Madro. That's the Aunt hospital. Aunt Madge. Yeah. Yes. So were they there before you? No, not all of them. Some came after. Uh, yeah. And how many years would you have stayed in England? Oh well. Three years for the general, and then I did midwifery another year or so. Then I got married, so I was there for a few years. Right. Because uh, for the it's nursing alone, but three years for nursing, then at, at least an, a year for midwifery and things like that. Right. So you were trained as a midwife? Yeah. I did that. And that's how you came to work in the neonatal yeah because that's where i got most of my training and i like the babies so yeah I did that. and how did you get a job in canada oh i this is your dad that arranged all that you can apply you see jobs or you know people that this is available i will get a work for sure me was no problem right yeah Coming to Canada as a nurse. Nurse, no problem. And did you come as a registered nurse? Oh, yes. Full, fully qualified. Fully qualified. With midwifery, that's a different course. It's two years or a year and a half. That. And yeah, it was good. I have no regrets. If it's one thing I'm happy for was that right. I did that. Because and how did, how did dad get to England? Well, he was the one that did, now you know, so by that time we were married. So right. he was the one that made all the... Was he in England before you were in England? He, yes, he was there before me. Okay, and did he come to England the same... How Maybe you have the same feeling, you know, you, once you start getting to know people that you know is there, it's easier. Right. And, and they, of course, they want to know your qualification, what you're interested in, what you want to do. Your dad went there, he didn't quite finish, he was studying still, so. Right, all right. That was, was good. Right. Did any other members of your family go to England to study? Uncle Cecil? Yeah, but he's, yeah, yeah, he did that. I don't know about too many more. Like, of my family, I know my friends. They were busy doing things that in Jamaica, you know, so they were comfortable, put it that way. Right. And 
but you, do you remember there being radio advertisements or newspaper advertisements saying go to England? The newspaper had it in, in Jamaica. I don't know if it had it in any kind, but, the, the, but they must have had some kind of communication because right. a, lot, a lot of, as they say, black nurses were there. A lot of black nurses at that time. Yeah. So England probably had some kind of a campaign could well be, but you know, I I didn't hear that. Did they did they talk about it in the Jamaican schools, the high school, to go to no. England? No. No. It was just the information I got from a friend. That right. She told me what to do, write a letter, and tell them what you have in mind, and see how it goes. And it went well for me. How would your mom have reacted when you told her you were going to England? But she, in a way she was happy but sad because then I'm the first one now that young leaving away from home oh. all the way to England. So you left before Uncle Cecil left? Oh yes. I went there and studied. He was still doing his studying in Jamaica because he did his, all his paperwork and all of that. I see. Yeah. Is Uncle Cecil younger than you or older? Oh, he's older than you. He's older than you, but yeah, he's... he's the first one. So he went to England to work, not to study. study yeah. But I think he did, they did all do a little bit of studying there because, you know, right. different style. But he he the, went into business, though. Yeah. But the, the thing is, though, Jamaica and England is quite close that way. You know? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, but it was interesting, it was good, and that must have been the best thing I ever done in my life. <laughs> Make a decision yeah. like that and say, I'm going to England. I mean, everybody started to cry. <laughs> yeah. Me, I wasn't crying. Mm -mm. I was happy because now I'm going to learn a new country. But they were, I went home. When I went, reached England that night, must have been about, I don't know, two hours, two. 2 a.m. in the night time there, and I'm telling you, the car was there waiting on me as I go out. There's a car with my name written. It's the hospital employs somebody to pick you up for the airport and deliver you. Right. At, at the hospital when you get in, doesn't matter what hour, night or day. Right. And your training in England was practical and you had classroom work as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were like working like three different jobs, <laughs> you know. But it was worth it. You get yeah. tired because you have to do the night shifts as well. And we're not accustomed to that. Right. But somehow you survive. Just yeah, you say, but you know, this is what I'm going to be, a nurse. And right. And the doctors are very nice to us, especially coming from overseas, because we don't know their style at all or whatever, you know. So. Right. <coughs> you, you pick it up fast. Right. Yeah, you pick it up fast, because you know that one like this and that one like that. So you know, it was like I say, the best thing I've ever done. Right. Yes, right. Go there. I have no regrets at all. Did many of your friends from high school eventually go? They go, also? quite a few, because now the news is spreading, you see. Oh, I see. This news is spreading, you can go to England. Uh, I, some of the doctors were a little bit perturbed because we only have one university out in, in Jamaica. So, you know, cases that you get is a lot, but. That's what they could afford at the time. So what, why do you think a lot of people were going to England? Why do you think the Jamaican University was uh, upset? Well, uh, I suppose they want to keep the best for themselves, you know. Right. Did nurses that were trained in England, did they go back to Jamaica to work? Uh, uh, maybe a few of them did. I don't know. Match uh, all of from my crowd. 
we went different places. Matches went to England and worked for, not to Jamaica, I mean, and worked for a while. And then she left and she came to Canada. Right, she went to Montreal. Montreal, yeah, she stayed in Montreal. Right. And now she's here, but she's... Where did Sheila and May go? Sheila and May came here to Canada. Or did they go, do you think they went to New York? May, after the, went home first a little while. May's in New York, she never worked. She may have worked here a little bit in Canada. In, but right, but she went, went to, to New York. York. And yeah. I think Sheila went to New Sheila York to work. went to New York as well. Right. Yeah. Because right. hot to, <laughs> but we work, study first, because we're all in England studying, but in different places. So it's once you finish, once you qualify, then you hit the road. Ah, uh, yeah. And so some people went to the United States. Yes, some went to England. And your yeah. friend uh, Dorothy came to Winnipeg. Yeah, no, me, yeah. She, she's still in Winnipeg. She's still in Winnipeg. Okay. But that's where her, she, she, she most of her ca career was in Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Yeah. So we had Montreal, Toronto, Toronto. Winnipeg, Winnipeg, New York. It, did any of your friends go back to Jamaica? Of your close friends? Madru went back for a period. Uh, she worked there. She worked in Jamaica for a while. Her, yes. And then she left. And then she left, came to Canada. Right. Sheila and May. Sheila May went. She came into Can Toronto, but after a while she went a little bit out of Toronto. Winnipeg. Yeah, Barbara went to Winnipeg. Barbara went, went to Winnipeg. Winnipeg. She always wanted to go there. I don't know why. So Aunt May came to Toronto and then went to New York. Yeah, she was. She, I. Yeah, I'm sure she went to New York because she's not here. Yeah, she's in New she, York. Yeah. Okay. Good. It was good. Everybody was very kind to us and. And how were you received when you came to Canada? Did the hospital... Oh, no, 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 no. Remember now, it's just a walking stone from here. Right. So it's just, the biggest thing was to go in and get all the papers signed and that. And I can't recall them giving a test. I can't recall them giving You just that. got a job. You I showed your qualifications. Patient, yes. And you got a job right away? I got a job, yeah. It wasn't hard because especially there was with the babies. And that's what you specialize in in England. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Right. And when you came to work at the hospital, were there a lot of nurses Just, that you then met that were trained in England? No. No. Didn't meet a lot. Not not the like the waves going out, no. It was a few of us to begin with. But then it, it grew as you get older. You know. Right. Okay. So the nurses in Canada came from mostly Canadian training? I, I would like to say that, yes. Okay. Yeah. But there were other nurses from other parts of the world now coming in as you go on, you know. So oh, I see. It was mixed. Because you would have come to Canada in the early 1960s? 1960s, yeah. Because you were born in Canada. No, okay. I was born in England. In England. Yeah. A, Ian, Ian was, was born, born in, in Canada. Canada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's it, but very interesting. Yeah. Good. That's good. That's, I have not, no regrets. Good. No. Okay. Thanks, Mom. No, you're welcome. No problem. I think Blake will like it. Mm hmm? Blake will like it. Yeah. <laughs>